Hello everyone. I'm here to talk about something very important from an investment standpoint that I want to share with you and that is silver. Silver right now is at a very very low level. From an, an inflation point of view and from where it was at other historical levels in the past it's at an historic low right now. I mean, it's trading under $20 an ounce, and the all-around cost of producing silver is around $24. So how can a mining company continue to mine silver at a loss of over $4 an ounce? Now, I know what you're going to say for people that have follow the silver market for a long period of time, you're going to say, look, this has happened in the past. And you're right. It has happened in the past. If you look in the year 2000, silver, shockingly, was below $5 an ounce. And people were saying, well, how could that be? How can it remain those levels? It's below the cost of production. And then look what happened. Shortly after, silver skyrocketed. So here we are again. Now you might ask, well, what's preventing silver from going below $5 an ounce again? I mean, that would be a terrible drop from where it is now. Well, my answer to that question is, and this is a point that I don't see being brought up in when talking about precious metals, is that the demand for silver has exponentially skyrocketed since then. You go back to 2000, a lot of people still didn't have cell phones. A lot of people still didn't have computers. So, you know, that's something to consider. And you also have to look at the population increase. Populations have increased. More people have devices that have silver in them. And let me go over the devices. You know, besides cell phones, the use of silver is in TVs, circuit boards, appliances, solar panels, nuclear energy. Brazing, soldering, photography, medicine, and of course, jewelry and coins, which is the cosmetic value of silver, and more. I mean, it's amazing what this metal is used in. I mean, the demand for it, the conductivity of silver is unparalleled. And keep in mind, there are billions of cell phones in use right now. Every few seconds, a cell phone is sold. Millions of cell phones are lost in landfills. So the current use of silver is absolutely astounding. And what's also astounding is the amount of silver that is thrown away and will never be recovered. Keep in mind, silver is essential for life. A cell phone is a total necessity for a person's life. As a matter of fact, even if you have a cell phone that's not active with a carrier, you can call 911 if you need help. So that cell phone has silver in it. If there is no more silver out there, we won't have cell phones. We won't have electronic devices. I mean, that's something very important to consider. And I don't even think economic factors can be that much of a factor when it comes to the use of silver. Of course, if the economy is stronger, more products are sold. But when it comes to the basic necessities of having things like a cell phone, in any economy, there is going to be demand for silver. And because of economic conditions, if miners stop mining it, and then the demand is really starting to pick up, and the silver isn't coming in from the mines, that can cause the price of silver to explode. I mean, keep in mind, going back to cell phones again, homeless people in China have cell phones. There is silver in those phones. This is a huge opportunity right here, seeing prices at these depressed levels. And here's another point I want to bring out. I remember following the sugar market and I remember when it was back uh, below $4 a pound. Now this was about the same time when silver was at the historic lows of below $5 an ounce. And I remember people were talking about sugar. They said, 
There's substitutes. Sugar isn't healthy. So therefore, this is what's causing the price to be so low. Well, guess what? From those levels, sugar went up over 700%. Now that would have been a sweet return. No pun intended. Okay? Now keep in mind, sugar has substitutes. And substitutes or not, people don't need them. All right? There, there are other things that people could consume besides sugar. There are no substitutes for silver. No substitutes. Okay? The conductivity of silver is absolutely needed in the things that I mentioned. Okay? So, answering the question, it will be impossible for silver to be at the levels at 2000 again because of the explosive demand and, of course, inflation. So, I see inflation adjusted and with the explosive demand for silver, I see silver in the $19 range right now as where silver was in the upper $4, $5 range as it was back in 2000. So, it's a base. I can't see it going much lower than this. I mean, it may go 19, 18 range, possibly. But when you're looking at a solid base, that's a great time to buy. Now, what's the disadvantage of buying silver right now? It may stay at these levels for a short period of time. And the other problem of buying silver, whether it's physical silver or, for example, an ETF, there are no dividends. There's cost of storage. So that's a problem. I mean, you're looking at dead money that's sitting there, and uh, it could be even going down from where you bought it. But not by much. I mean, I think even in the intermediate term, silver can be a good investment. I mean, it just has to rally from where it is right now. And if you look at other opportunities out there, equities are close to all-time highs right now. Uh, there aren't many investments out there that look cheap. Now, let's talk about silver's closest relative, which is gold. I see a much bigger opportunity in silver than I see in gold. Why? Here's something else to consider. Many governments have huge stockpiles of gold. China's been accumulating gold. India's been accumulating gold. Russia's been accumulating gold. Most governments have no stockpiles of silver to know of. Okay? The only stockpiles I think that are known to be out there are banks holding silver for investors, like for ETFs. But other than that, most governments have no stockpiles of silver. So whatever's being mined and where companies are buying the silver to put in their electronic devices, I mean, that's the silver that's out there. And keep in mind, a lot of silver ends up in landfills. There's a tiny amount of silver that's put into electronic devices. The costs of recycling it and extracting it exceed the cost of the metal. And as a result, a lot of silver is destroyed. It ends up in landfills. So, I mean, you're talking about a finite metal. There's only a certain amount of it that's in the ground. When it's used, a lot of it is destroyed. Okay? And right now, it's over four dollars below the cost of production, which means if mining companies stop mining silver, all right, and then there's a shortage, you could be looking at an explosive price of silver. Who knows where it can go? And keep in mind, miners can't just go back there and stop mining it right away, all right? There's an exploration process. You've got to find the silver. You have to find it, and once you find it, it has to be mined. And to get those mines back up in operation, it takes time. So I think silver is at a base right now, okay? It's at a base. And I don't see it going much lower. And it's just a decision that you have to make. Do you want to buy right here? I think this is a great place to buy silver. Now, I do think that you should be diversified. Don't go and take all your money and invest it in silver.
be diversified. There are other investments out there which have done very well. Stocks, for example, in 2013, the S&P returned over 30%. Silver had a bad year last year. Precious metals overall had a bad year. So you should be diversified. You should have some money in equities, maybe even in bonds, maybe some money in real estate. But if you're going to put your money in precious metals, if you're going to look at gold versus silver, the opportunity is in silver right now. Especially for the reasons that I mentioned. So silver is something you should look at and something that you should have in your portfolio right now. Okay? So, I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please show your support for this channel by subscribing. Feel free to leave comments about what was discussed here. Please like up this video and thank you for tuning in.